When I tell you that I have been watching my tracking link like a hawk, I'm not lying. I'm so excited for this box, so let's get to it. Hello friends, I'm Rosa, welcome to the channel. So I got another bookish unboxing today. We're doing the March Illumicrate one in a new box. It's very neon, it's very, very yellow. <laughs> and I've heard many good things about this box so far. Mine has been in customs for a little bit, so I'm a little bit behind. However, as far as I know, this is like a very cohesive box. And before I spoil anything, I'm just gonna stop. Let's get started unboxing this babe. Okay, well, we're good, but let's try to open this up and something stuck, something stuck. Okay, there we go. Maybe I should have left this stuck. Nothing to see here, but I do have the spoiler pamphlet. It says, a life of its own. I am not going to read the spoilers because we are going to be guessing some fandoms, but I feel like from this visual, from this graphic, you can kind of guess what book it is. <laughs> I don't know. I was able to guess it right away, but I also stalk book covers like, like a hawk too, yes. Anyway, <gasps> all right, oh my gosh. I completely forgot that this item was in the box. Let's not start with that one. Let's go with another one. Let's go with this one, whatever this is. I have no idea. What is this? Like a, it's not a pencil case. What is, what is it for? It feels like a pencil case, but it's too small. Like what do you use this for? I don't know. <laughs> it says, I liked the imaginary people on the entertainment feed way more than I liked real ones. Martha Wells. I completely forgot what fandom. All right, I don't think I've actually read any of the books <laughs> that the fandoms are from for, I don't know. A murder butt headphone case. Honey, I wear headphones, not earphones. <laughs> they don't fit in here. This case is perfect for storing your headphones and chargers for when you need to ignore real people. <laughs> That's fair, okay. The artwork is by Kate, Hey Atlas Creative. So it's like, it's a, I would say earphones though. Headphones are those you put like on top. I wanna show you mine. So these are mine, you see? They don't fit in here, but I'll figure out something else to use this for. It looks like it could be used for some kind of travel purposes at some point, so. I'm very sturdy. So yeah, we have a little headphone case. Next up, let's not go with that one. I'm gonna wait with that one. Next up we have, uh, what? I, huh? I don't know what this is. Hello? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why did I only get one page? <laughs> what? Okay, it fell off. Oh, that's a shame. I'll figure out. I got some glue, it's fine. What is this though? Very exciting. Owl in the wall notepad. Jot down your to-do list with this beautiful notepad inspired by other words for smoke. Again, a book that I have not read. So notepads for notes. Okay, would have liked like if they had some stick, stick, sticker stuff. <laughs> some, not glue, but like stickers, sticky stuff up here, so, like post-its because then you could hang it somewhere. I'll figure out a use for this too. That was funny though, because I was like, why would I just get the back and then this? Anyway, we're all good, we're all good. I'm just gonna glue it on so that, it might mean that the last two pages aren't usable for anything, but it's fine. A notepad, okay. Trust me, I love writing down my notes. I could probably like, what I would probably do with it, just as an example. So before I shut down for the day, I will write whatever I need to do the day after while I still remember because I have this very annoying habit of running over everything I need to do the day after, right before I have to sleep. And obviously that's not really helping with the sleep situation. So that'll actually come in handy. Then we got something small and exciting here. I see a star. Is it a keyring? Oh, and also the artwork on the notepad is by Daphna Zabani. Okay, so we have, that was a little bit plasty. That goes away. Oh my gosh, the star is stuck. What is this? Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, housekeeping and breakfast not included. Okay, Howl's Moving Castle. It looks like a key, like a key ring chain, whatever it's called, with a little star on it. I have not read Howl's Moving Castle either. I did say I feel like I haven't read any of the books that the fandoms are for, from. I just really wanted the book in this box. And also, not the next item, but the item after. You'll love it. You'll love it. Okay. But this is a Howl's Moving Castle motel key ring by Blissfully Bookish Tees. Keep track of the keys to your own moving castle with this motel style key ring. Oh, I've never been to a motel. <laughs> 
So is this what they look like? Like do you get a key like this with a with like a like like this? Because I know hotel keys you basically just get a card. I again motels are not really common here where I live so that's cute though. I'll probably hang it somewhere on my shelves. I don't think this is gonna stand up. He did his best. <laughs> okay next up we have is this another pillowcase? <laughs> Wow, the sorry, the art on this is crazy. So I think, what is it? Is it a pillowcase? Is there like a zipper on it? Like how do I get a pillow in there if it's a pillowcase? Oh, there's a very hidden zipper. Okay, so it is a pillowcase and it looks like this on one side and then it says, you look like a winter night. I could sleep inside the cold of you. Deathless. Oh, it's from Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. And I just want to show you the other side because <laughs> this is like, I love book art, okay? I love book art. I don't know what to use this for. I've not read the book, but I can appreciate the art on it so much because like, wow. And I also love the colors. I just love the colors. It fits so well, like everything is very um, cohesive. This is beautiful. Don't know the book, but like, Wow, the vibes. Who made this? Who drew that? They are an artist. Well, I mean, obviously. So the front is made by Chatty Nora and the back is made by After Blossom underscore art on Instagram. It says, get comfy with this gorgeous cushion cover inspired by Deathless. Again, I've not read Deathless, but like, I can appreciate the art on this. This is beautiful. <laughs> like, I would hang this up. It's gorgeous. Whoever this person is, you did amazing. Wow, okay, beautiful. Like, honestly, it kind of makes me want to read the book, so I might look into that, because, yeah, no. I might look into it. Okay, we're gonna place her right here next to Stitch. Right there, okay. And then, the last item, which, oh wow, this is so dark. It says, we do bones. So Illumicrate does these mugs, like, twice a year or something. I have two. I have one that is from the Winter Night trilogy, and one that is from... Ooh, Kingdom of the Cursed. So this will be my third one. There's been a lot that I've missed out on that I'm like, oh, I wanted that one so bad. Like Shades of Magic, Echo Tar. And this one is inspired by Gideon the Ninth. So they're made by or designed, the artwork is done by Rosie Thorns 88. One of my absolute faves. This is beautiful. So cool. I have yet to read the book. <laughs> I meant to read it this month, but I've just not had the time. And again, color scheme wise also fits perfectly with everything else with the red, black, and white. It's kind of a, it's like a solid theme going on here. So this is beautiful. I love these mugs always. Like there's not been a single one where I've been like, nah. <laughs> They've all been gorgeous. Can, if I place it over here, can you see it? Pretty cohesive theme, I would say, yeah. As for the We Do Bones mug, it says, our latest mug features a stunning paper craft by Rosie inspired by Gideon the Ninth. I know that they're gonna do one more mug this year. I don't know when, I don't know what fandom it's gonna be. That one is beautiful. It's gonna fit in right on my B. Schwab's shelf where Gideon the Ninth is also hanging out. But as for the book, is there anything else in this? No, the book is like super tiny, but the Schwab's books are also super tiny. You can see I have my special edition of Addie LaRue right here. And it's like, it's the size of a paper bag, basically. <laughs> like it's just a super tiny book. This is gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same size as, uh, oh, right. Well, the book is by V. Schwab. <laughs> I think I just ruined that. Anyway, I know my book is way too well. Wow. Okay. And it is Gallant by V. Schwab. Okay. So this is a redesigned cover. Very inspired by, I think it's a little bit of a mix of the two actually. The mix or a mix of both the UK and the US cover. It's so tiny and cute. <laughs> And we also have, oh, mine are not centered. Oof, I'm gonna have to write them about this. But we do have digitally printed edges that fit. The book is too tiny, like it's still focusing on me. There we go. So we have the thorns and roses and the two houses in the middle. But mine is like slightly off centered. I think the print kind of lost its way right about here. So I'm gonna contact them about that, but that is completely fine. They have like really good customer support. So whenever you have issues with anything, 
you know, just contact them about it. Is there anything else? We have end papers that look like this. We also have foiling on the naked cover. The book itself is white. Foiling is red. It's quite pretty. Oh, the end papers on the back are the same as the front. I don't think this edition is signed. As far as I remember, it wasn't going to be signed. No, but there should be a book plate. So, or maybe there isn't. Hold on. All right. No book plate either. I didn't really fully remember. Love the edges though. I just wish they were centered. It's a bit of a shame that it just kind of a little bit off-centered, but I heard some people also had issues with that with the uh, This Woven Kingdom by Tahira Mafi. But anyway, this book is about a girl who I believe is either mute or deaf. She communicates in sign language as far as I remember. She goes to an all-girls school and receives a letter from her uncle, which basically summons her to his estate. But when she arrives, it turns out the letter had been years late and her uncle is actually dead. And while she's at this estate, there's a few rules that she has to follow. One of them being she cannot leave the house after dusk, which sounds very mysterious. I believe there was something about ghouls in this as well, some about ghosts possibly as well, like lots of mystery vibes. She's also not allowed to leave or go past a wall, whatever that means. She sounds very conformed. Is that how you say that? Like, she sounds very stuck at this estate, to be honest. But while being here, she discovers a lot of secrets about her family and also what's going on at this house and stuff. So the Schwab herself said that this is supposed to be read in one sitting. So that's what I'm going to do at some point. It's a very short little book. I have not met a Schwab book that I have not liked yet. So I'm super, or loved, I should say. <laughs> yeah, so I'm super excited to read this at some point. This is a cute little edition, but... um. Yeah, I like how everything just kind of like goes together. You see, it's red, black, and white. Yeah, I like that. As for my favorite item, the mug, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> it's always gonna be the mug. She's gorgeous. But despite probably not getting any use out of this pillowcase because I don't have any pillows, I love the pillowcase. <laughs> it's beautiful. The artwork, if I had that, I would put it somewhere. And then we also have the April theme, which is nothing but thieves. And I already know the book. Keeping my eye on the uh, teasers for May currently, so that'll be interesting too. But that's it for this unboxing, so I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more unboxings from me, stick around, hit the subscribe button, only if you feel like it. If you like the video, also feel free to hit the thumbs up. But that is all, so I'm gonna go put my things, my new items, back in their spots. Or no, not back in their spots, I'm gonna find spots for them. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!